It is a call for action. Parents and community leaders call an emergency meeting to take action following the second suicide in a week tied to the Parkland massacre. A South Florida community is coming together after two lives are lost to suicide more than one year after the deadly shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School. The young students were survivors and now there is a new focus on whether those who made it out of the tragedy alive are getting the help they need. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Coral Springs with more on the calls for change. Ted. Yeah, Ruta Van Alley, it certainly has been a very rough couple of days for the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas community here in Parkland as well as Coral Springs. Just hours after that tragedy on Saturday night, parents as well as community leaders all got together trying to figure out what can they do to help. Part of that was to uh, early open this place here, open it early. This is the Eagles Haven located in a shopping plaza on Coral Ridge Drive. This is Superintendent Robert Runcie. Broward School Superintendent Robert Runcy sending out a robocall to parents, telling them to pay close attention to their children after a pair of suicides last week from MSD students, the latest one on Saturday. Parents, it is important for you to talk with your children and be able to recognize signs of personal crisis that could lead to suicide. Runcy's call comes after an emergency meeting on Sunday with parents and community leaders. They came up with a plan to help parents look for signs of trouble with their teens. It's so important that parents and other adults and even kids to kids let each other know that they're willing and able to talk about this and that they can hear what the other person has to say. We're not alone in the community. Julie Gordon runs Eagles Haven. It opened a week early. It's a place for MSD students and staff to get help in healing and suicide prevention. Gordon tells us there are six specific questions you should ask. One, have you ever wished you were dead? Two, have you had thoughts of killing yourself? Three, have you had thoughts about how you might do it? Four, have you had intentions of acting on suicidal thoughts? Five, have you started to work out details of killing yourself? Six, have you done anything to prepare to end your life? If the answer is yes to four, five, or six, get help immediately and don't leave them alone. She said to also look for warning signs. You could have somebody who's very depressed and despondent and isolating, and then all of a sudden they seem to be feeling better, they seem relieved, they seem more cheerful, and everyone thinks, oh my gosh, this is great, they're getting better, when in fact that is actually known as the highest risk because they're feeling well enough to possibly take action. Later this week, expect to see community leaders and parents getting together again. This time, the focus will be on students dealing with these suicides after returning from spring break. When all of the young people go back and they're back to school and they're sharing more information, um, we know that they're gonna be experiencing some additional stress. Now, there is one important phone number to know, and that is 211. That is good in both Miami-Dade as well as Broward. That's for anyone uh, who may be feeling like they're in trouble or if you know someone who needs some help. 211 uh, is that number, good in all over South Florida. Or you can text FL to 741741. And experts say don't be afraid to talk about suicide, that just the mere mention of it will not spur anyone into action. Live in Coral Springs, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.